many time while you log into your WordPress dashboard, you see this kind of funny dashboard that CSS and style sheets are not loading. So how you can fix that? I mean, when you go to your dashboard after login, you will see this kind of messy dashboard. That means the CSS and style sheets of WordPress are not uploading or loading. So how to fix that? There is a very quick method that you can very easily fix that problem and uh, get back your WordPress dashboard ready with this style and CSS. Let's get started. First of all, you need to go to your control panel and uh, in the public HTML, I mean in the file manager, I have a lot of domain and uh, if you have uh, one domain, so you need to go to uh, public HTML. So here is the public HTML, but my domain is a separate domain. So I have to go on and the separate domain. This is the domain folder that is that is my subdomain and that is my subdomain state.kipcarriers.com and uh, .pk so there is this is my you know subdomain uh, folder so now I have in I have entered into the subdomain folder now you need to go to wordpress.org uh, now you can see the wordpress.org just click on get wordpress and there you need to download the latest version of wordpress so the latest version of wordpress is 6.3.2 so I'm going to download this now I have downloaded the, the, the latest version of WordPress file. So I'm going back to my uh, folder of my domain. So here I need to upload my downloaded WordPress file. So I just click on file upload. And here I would like to go to the downloads. Here I am going to upload it. Now you can see our WordPress file has been uh, uploaded. So I will go back and refresh our you know, folder. And here I have refreshed and uh, now you can see this is our wordpress uploaded file and you can see this kind of files make errors on the website and uh, you know this is unknown file that is uh, you know making error so don't worry we are going to delete that so after uploading the wordpress actual file so click on select all and deselect the wordpress file that we are not going to delete and just click on wp config so this is these two, two files and wp content so WP content and the uploaded WordPress file and WP config other than all other core files we are going to delete it. that click on delete and click on confirm now you can see all the files are deleted so if I navigate my you know website and open try to open the WordPress dashboard or WP admin so it will give me the you know file manager preview sorry now you can see if I access my domain so here you can see these three files error log and wordpress folder and this file is available so now i'm going back and here I, I would like to click here and click on extract just click on copy extract now i have extracted so just click on this extractor folder and click on select all and deselect the wp content you or you can just click here and delete the wp content from the extracted file and then click on select all and click on move and after clicking on move you need to move all the files into your domain directory now that folder directory is empty now if you go on the domain now you can see all the files are here now if we refresh the website and go to our dashboard after refresh you can see our WordPress dashboard is uh, working very fine and uh, the latest version of WordPress is installed here. And now you can see this is the 6.3.1 version is available here. So I hope you like this video. If you like this video, please subscribe my channel and please comment below if you don't, uh, you know, resolve, could not resolve the problem. And if you want to contact me to resolve the problem, you can contact me via given detail below in the description. Thank you so much.